So what can you tease us about these final episodes? Um, I wish I could just talk about the finale. <laughs> I wish I could just say it. Uh, but there's a very exciting Toby Happy development coming that is um, not what you're expecting. Oh, so it's not related to the question that was asked, that would be asked by Toby to be happy? Uh, it might be. <laughs> <laughs> I am so bad at this. I don't know how to not spoil. Uh, I had uh, the guy who, uh, who drove me to WonderCon spoiled a really big movie for me. And I was like, I think that's a lesson for me to not spoil what's going to happen on Scorpion. Um, anyway, it's uh, it's great. I mean, it, it, it's, it's, it's really cool what the writers came up with. It's something that I know, I think Santora had in mind from a long time ago. And um, questions are answered, and also a lot more questions will be asked in a serious cliffhanger that will... Uh, I think get social media all of them. This is so hard to not spoil it. I just I want to fast forward to next year and have a real conversation about this. Okay. I mean, can you talk about um, the progression of Toby and Happy over the season? I mean, you guys have been through a lot, and you've been yeah. working. Uh, Toby's been working on himself a lot. Um, the team itself yeah. is uh, it's it's kind of a house of cards in that they all need each other and they found each other and, and they're vital to each other's existence because they all feel so alone in the world. And once they found each other, they, that's how they get by, is, is being with each other. And on top of that, Toby and Happy just had this natural connection. They, they each have something the other person wants, and just a spark. Uh, but they are so intellectual and lead with logic so much that it made romance so much more difficult. Love doesn't make sense. Um, if you were just going to use logic and pluses and minuses, no one would ever get involved in a relationship, but we get into relationships because it just feels right and, it, and it's something we want to do. So they're battling logic and their intellectual brains and just allowing love to happen. And I think this season has just been that struggle of letting go of logic and allowing love. And uh, it's been a slow, steady, wonderful development. Talk about the teams going to be trying to break into Fort Knox, which is mm -hmm. supposed to be unbreakable. Mm -hmm. Can you talk a little bit about how that comes about and... Um, it, uh, it's, there's actually a very big, uh, it, it doesn't go smoothly, I can tell you that. Um, and uh, like everything else in uh, that we do on Scorpion, it's possible. I don't know if anyone's going to be right. I, with an in, a really high inflection on my voice, it's possible, uh, but not probable. Um, and uh, what's that? Yeah, there you go. Uh, and uh, we almost die, but no one's going to die at Fort Knox. But uh, it gets very close, and um, it's a very fun episode. It's very cool. What movie was spoiled for you on the way here? Batman vs Superman. Really? Um, yeah. Okay. Yeah, there's a really huge twist. Shh. I know. At the end. I know. Haven't watched. I know, and I told him I was like, I haven't seen it. He's like, oh, so you don't know that? And I was like. <laughs> That's weird. So will you ever look at Truth or Dare the same way again? What you're referring to? Well, that he plays Truth or Dare to satisfy Oh, family. gosh. Uh, I mean, Truth or Dare hasn't been the same since that day in the stairwell in fourth grade for me. Uh, so uh, what I love about what the writers have done for Toby is, uh, you know, given him a real need and... Uh, it was real fun and silly to, to use bets and, and truth or dare as a way to you know scratch this uh, devilish itch that he has. Although truth or dare or Scorpion Olympics, which one's more fun? Um, <laughs> I'd hate to have to pick, and you know it doesn't end there. You know they keep on coming up with stuff for us, and I love. I think you know as as big as the show is, and as much crazy action stuff we do, and crazy situations we get into. The stuff the fans talk about and a lot of the press ask us about are the first five minutes and the last five minutes of the show. And that's the stuff that seems to get the audience 
really engaged. And, um, and I love that CBS lets us do it. And, it, you know, I say that those storylines are carried out throughout the episodes, but the first five and the last five is when we get to focus on it. And uh, it's always something fun and it's always something heartfelt and um, usually comes together pretty well. How many takes of the kiss last episode? As many as humanly possible. <laughs> uh, much to Jaden's dismay, but I just wanted to make sure I got it perfect. I mean, can you talk about Toby and Walter? Like, they had to see a therapist yeah. at one point. I mean, yeah. Yeah. Uh, well, I mean, how amazing that we got Penn Jillette, uh, yeah. to come in, and he was so wonderful. And, uh, you know, from the beginning, there's always been, um, I don't know if it's competition, but some sort of clashing going on. And um, all these inner relationships in Scorpion are so much fun to play with, you know. Toby and Sylvester have this weird big brother, little brother thing going, and Toby's always giving Sylvester a hard time, and obviously the Toby happy thing, and then Toby and Walter, you know, when Walter almost died last season, they had me put on a tie and kind of assume the leadership role, which I had no business doing, and, you know, me and Cabe, Toby and Cabe, uh, it's kind of like a father-son thing, and we're always helping each other. Um, so I think all of them, the, all the characters are so well defined that it's so fun to mix and match and get them all involved with each other. And Toby and Walter, I don't think it's resolved yet. I think there's a lot to be figured out, and um, I hope there's a lot more seasons we have to do some figuring out. Thank you. Thank awesome. you. Thanks, guys.